So in the town that I live, uh, um, it's a big tourist town, like, not much happens here except for on holidays and festival seasons. This particular weekend being both of those things, we have an arts and culture festival held on the Easter long weekend. I've been away in Sydney actually for work and training and I hadn't been able to ride like, all last week, which was horrible. <laughs> I love riding um, and when I can't, I really feel I really miss it. So before my afternoon familial obligations, I decided to go for a bit of cruise. Big boy. <laughs> Definitely don't want to be in town. Not my style. The smell of poultry. It wasn't poultry, it was the smell of pigs. Yum. It wasn't until recently where I realized this bike actually has uh, self cancelling indicators. What a fucking revelation! Yeah, so like five days in a row without riding is a massive amount of time for me. Uh, I punched out a shit ton of work in a short amount of time and I'm really proud of myself for that, but it was a mission. I've been pushing myself a lot lately in my career and my personal life. I call it wholly participating in life. <laughs> and uh, that sounds funny, maybe, but... There's definitely been times, a lot of times, years, where I couldn't do that for whatever reason. I'm a big proponent of moving forward and creating my own momentum. But I also have to check myself because I'm kind of like an all or nothing bloke. And sometimes I will ignore the signs that I am entering burnout territory. I've gotten a lot better at recognizing that, and recognizing that is only the start. You need to actually act upon it when you do recognize your own signs of burnout and exhaustion. And for me, that's deliberately engaging in activities that make me happy, that don't seem like work, like this. And like being with my family, being out in nature, and just stopping and allowing myself, giving myself permission to stop. Sometimes I like to just get out on the side of the road and fucking stop and look around and realize how small I am. It's kind of comforting. All right, let's get back on the road. Enough fucking around. Let's do it. Such a smooth ride. 